anchored in about 45 feet of water right behind the, in the lee of this island. And uh, I'm gonna swim over and check the anchor, make sure we're not uh, in a bunch of rocks or something. As soon as that's done, I'll come back, we'll shut up the engines and we'll jump in and we'll show you guys what's under the water. There's seals here, hopefully they'll play with us. decided to go through the night and sail to Bahia to get our new stairs and our new countertop and our nav station because wood here is really nice and cheap so we're gonna take care of all this all the wood stuff on the boat now we're also gonna leave the boat on a mooring ball here where there's night security and go inland it's secure in terms of swell because it's in a it's in a river quite a little bit up the river and there's always a guard and there are other boaters and it's a ni it's nice and calm if you ever want to leave your boat somewhere in ecuador that's probably where you should get uh, we're going to be going through this sketchy surf again but we're about high tide right now so it's going to be a, uh, an ebbing tide as we're coming in, so it'll be a little bit against us. And it'll be a little tricky to tie up because it'll start go coming a little faster as the time goes on. But uh, I've got a guy on standby, the guy that works here, his name is Ariosto, he's going to help us out. Where the hell are we? <laughs> so, we took the night bus from Bahia yesterday to La Catunga. I, I was editing, right, the, the new episode in Bahia, minding my own business. All of a sudden he comes and slams two bus tickets on the table. He says, we're going inland today. So we spent the whole night driving up those mountains and now we're gonna go hiking. <laughs> Oh, they have almonds here. They have almonds here. Where do you see almonds? Oh no, that's tamarindo. They have walnuts. They have tamarindo. We made it. This is uh, Kilatoa. 
It's a dormant volcano with a lake inside it. What's the matter? We didn't make it halfway yet. Down, that is. This place is super pretty and the fog rolled in and it's right over our heads now. You see, it's gonna come over the water too soon. But as it gets later and gets cooler, the fog gets closer to the water. Pretty neat, really pretty place. You ready to rent a kayak? Yeah. Let's go. drove us all the way to the to the end of the crater so we only have had to go down so far like the people they're going up they look really exhausted because we're very high here in like 4,000 meters so the air is already considerably thinner so it's harder to do sports and stuff the way down was okay but as soon as I went 10 meters up I was already I was already knocked out so let's hope we'll make it can somebody please explain us what this is supposed to mean? <sighs> the way up is way harder. I should have rented a horse. Come on, don't give up. Welcome people. We are in Ecuador, Quilutoa. We just climbed down a volcano into the, to the lagoon, the crater lake, uh, Laguna de Quilutoa. And we just came back up, piece of cake. I didn't sit down once, no break whatsoever. So if I can do it, you can do it. Let's go. I'm gonna get myself some cacao now because I deserved it. And as always, we're, we're bringing our own cup. That way, we don't need to produce all that trash, right? Just for one hot chocolate, you're gonna use like a styrofoam cup that's gonna be on this earth longer than you are. Think about it. Go ahead and get some. Do you want one? That is chocolate, for favor. Chocolate. Uh huh. Yum. All right, we're back at the hostel we stayed at a couple nights ago, and uh, we came back from Quilato and stayed here. And we're gonna go back south to Banos, and then back to Quito, buy a solar panel, and go back to the boat. So that's the plan. And I might try to summit Chimborazo while we're doing that. I really wanna do it. Okay, people. So we took the bus to Banos, all right, and... It took like two hours from La Catumba, no, La, Ca... La Catonga. <laughs> okay, I don't remember to be honest. We're surrounded by mountains right now in this hostel, and it's just beautiful. A girl we met, Marissa, in Panama, she was here two years ago, so for a month. So she hooked us up with all her friends, and he got he found us like a, a hostel for 20 bucks a night for the, both of us. And it's beautiful in this awesome location. And look at how beautiful it is. So this is Brother Diego's shop, his uh, burrito store here. If you're in Banos, get a burrito, they're, they're pretty good. But now he hooked us up with uh, a girl that rents motorcycles. So we're gonna rent a little CRF 230 and a automatic little quad and go up in the mountains with Diego, that'd be fun.
So we're at the biggest swing in South America. Vuelo del Condor, Flight of Condor. Yeah. It's the biggest swing in South America. It's like a 100 meter drop. It's pretty intense. Okay. <laughs> Buddy just did it. I've done it like eight times. It's good, it's good stuff. Good fun. Sweet, this is cool. Holy shit. Oh, Wait till we get all the way on top. So shit. Aren't you afraid of heights, Jamie? No. <laughs> no. No? No, I'm not. Are you ready, brother? Yeah. Are you nervous? On a scale of one to ten. Three. Three. One, two. You like that? Yeah. You want to go touring on a motorcycle? Maybe not. Maybe a little more comfortable one. We're at the treehouse, um, Casa del Arbol, end of the world swing. It got famous because a National Geographic photographer came here in the 80s or 90s, and he took a picture of it, and then he won the uh, Photographer of the Year. So that's why a lot of people know about it. It's the number one attraction in Baños. It's the number one attraction here. Everybody comes here uh, year round. There's always people, as you can tell, there's a lot of people. But it's really close to the volcano called Tungurawa. Okay, are we done? What do you mean done? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even started yet. <laughs> I bet you guys forgot, but today is our three year anniversary. Not me and Kimmy, but us and you. We have been making films now for three years, almost to the day, and we wanted to say thank you guys. Thanks guys to each and every, now I start doing this too, you do this all the time. Stop doing that. Really nice. Do it backwards. Wow. Thanks to each and every of you, over 50,000 subscribers now, and everybody that's commenting on our videos, and everybody that's liking and sharing our stuff, it's very much appreciated on our end. Most of all, thanks to our wonderful crew on Patreon that has been filling our sails with wind and keeping us fed and going through all this time. We had some very low, low points in the last three years, some very high, high points. And all in all, it's been it's been a fantastic journey. For the ones of you that can't wait for the episodes to come out, you're always able to get some sneak peeks from our website, on Patreon, on Instagram. And you can always see our route on our website. Also, Kimmy designed these shirts and they're back on sale for Christmas. So please go to this link, bonfire.com slash store slash Zingaro and get yourself a t-shirt or get one for a friend. That really helps us out. After three years with you guys, it still feels like the first day, the very first day. We'll promise to never cheat you guys. We'll always produce the content as good as we possibly can. We'll promise to take you to exotic locations and teach you stuff on the way and... We love you. We love you. 